everyone, welcome back. Um, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom to four kiddos, um, soon to be five. We're expecting a little boy in November. Um, my ages of my children are nine, seven, three, and I have a nine month old. Um, so I will be homeschooling fourth grade, third grade, and pre four this year. And then just doing some super fun little baby activities um, and crafts along the way. And crafts along the way. So um, I have been homeschooling. We're going into our fifth, you know, actual school year. But I have actually been homeschooling since my oldest was two. I did all his preschool at home. He's I've never been to school. Um, this was not the plan that I had laid out for myself. But this was the plan that God put in front of us, and we stepped into it with faith and followed it, and have been so blessed. And it's the best decision ever. Um, so let's get to it. This is just a quick little Target haul that I wanted to share with you guys today. So starting off, each of my children got binders, three ring binders. It's super simple. We use these for like morning warm-ups. Um, and then we'll also put like our science stuff in here, um, which I'll be sharing more about. And then I also got another like just little half inch binder to go with some of our toolboxes um, from the Five Girls Schoolhouse. Next up, we have index cards. Um, we will use these as flashcards. I will write sight words on him for sight words on here for the preschooler, multiplication facts, and then also I'm going to have these in our morning basket for the kiddos to write down the Bible verse of the week and have that. And then I'm going to get them little, what are those little rings called that they can put them on, and then that way they'll have like a flip through of different Bible verses that they've learned and memorized this year, hopefully. Okay, then we have over here on the same note for Bible, I let each of my kids pick out a super fun um, notebook this year. And these are going to be their Bible journals. So this will go with um, our morning basket stuff. This will be like their kind of little thing. I have Bible journal and they've always asked me like how to do it. And I just thought it would be fun to do it together. Um, to write scripture, to teach them to write their prayers out if that's what they want to do. Just like a personal thing that they can independently either do, we can do it all together, that they can color while I'm reading their Bible curriculum, or that they can take upstairs personally during their own quiet time and just reflect back on it at the end of the year. Then they had these little notebooks for 25 cents, so I told each of them to pull out a color um, of these, and these will just go along with the different things that we'll need it for throughout the year. Um, it's always good. I'll go back to Target because I homeschool um, after everyone's gone back to school and they have everything 75% off and I'll stock up on more notebooks and pencils and colored pencils and things like that. So I just buy the basics, whatever's on sale when we go, and then I go back for the big sale because they don't have to have it on a certain date like people in school do. So then I got each of them they each got a pack of crayons. These will go in their notebooks and their little pencil holders. Which, where did the little pencil holder go? You know, we just have the little zipper pencil holders. Oh, here it is. So each of the, the kiddos, I do have a supply caddy on our table that it will have all of these. But a lot of times they'll say, hey, grab your notebook. We're going to go to the park for breakfast and for a morning basket. Or, hey, grab your nature notebook. So they'll have each of these items inside their notebook. They also got to go inside their little pencil holder, um, these Mondo Llama colored pencils. These were like 50 cents, the crayons were 50 cents. They will also put a stick of glue and a pair of scissors in their binder. So they will have everything we need for if we were to do school out and about. I also saw these a while back. These did not come from Target, these came from Kroger. But the Conjure pencils, these are great. We also got, for the first time, they don't know this, they are getting mechanical pencils on their first day of school. And then I also got, these are for me and for them. They like to write in pen, but I've never let them because you can't erase it. And then it's just annoying. It's just like this whole argument thing. I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about if you homeschool. So I found these and these are the erasable pens. Hello. Uh, we will be putting a few of these on the table and then they're gonna have to ask me for more once I'll probably assign each child a color. They'll have to get to pick their color. And then when they don't have them anymore, they're gonna have to ask me for another one because these were like 12 bucks. But I think it'll be a super fun addition to our homeschool this year. Um, my three-year-old asked for a pair of shark scissors and he does a lot of cutting practice in preschool. So I was happy to get him a new pair of scissors. 
I also got these little file tabs. This is how they know where to start and stop. Um, their independent work, I will tab each of their work the night before and have it sit on the table ready for them to go. So there's no confusion as to what I want them to be doing. They also grabbed just one pack of markers just to freshen up our supply caddy for the beginning of the year. Like I said, I'll go back and grab more when they go on clearance. I also got a couple of, they like the squeeze blues. I don't know why, they make a big mess, but they love them. So I got a couple of these to start and then I will go back to Target when they have their big end of the year sale. We got some dividers, just dividers with pockets. Um, to put in their notebooks that I showed you earlier. And then I like, these are the, you can tell here, not the paper notebooks. Um, I feel like those rip, these do not rip, and they also have the rings in them. So these will just be for different subjects or categories that um, we do in our schoolroom that I need them to have a notebook for. Um, so these will be great. You can just tie them into their big notebook, ready to go. And then lastly, all I got from Target were these collapsible bags, but y'all, they're huge. I got four of them. I got one for each child's curriculum, just to slide up under their desk, and one for the library. And let me tell you, the library books has already been utilized in this thing, and I don't know where I've been. It's got handles, it's big. I put it in my car, so when we get, when we load back up from the library, I toss the books in here, and then I, carry it in our house. It's been great. We can move it all over and then the library books have like a designated home inside our home. So that is it for my Target back to school haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This was fun sharing with you all. I always like to watch little hauls. Um, I plan on doing what I thrifted this week in a haul and I found some super fun finds. So stay tuned for that video and comment below if you have any questions or anything else that you would like to see. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for joining us.